hey hi so in this video i'm going to tell you that how to bulk import your csv data inside mysql database just using csv git and that is possible by running this one single statement no need to write so many queries no need to create table names no need to insert values just using this single statement we can bulk import inside my sql database so before uh, using this statement there are some prerequisites there are some steps we need to uh, execute so the first thing is that create database inside mysql so the one thing which we have to do is that uh, for the data which we are going to insert into any database that database need to create into my sql okay so yeah so here uh, you can see my sql is there so i'm going to create database that is fit database so here you can see that i have created uh, database that is fit so inside you can see there is no tables there are no tables so in this uh, database i am going to add uh, csv data okay our whole data so the data set i am going to show you is this one so this is the data set that is fit fit data so this whole data i need to import into mysql so how to do that okay now that second thing is that uh, load the csv file in jupyter so the th thing is that this statement will not recognize what is this is the basically this is the name of that csv file so uh, jupyter will not recognize that uh, how to fetch this data so for that I need to load this my uh, CSV file inside the Jupyter. So as you know that in Jupyter there is one option is there uh, upload upload or upload our CSV file. So from here uh, you can search your CSV file load it. So uh, here you can see that already I have yeah. So already I have my uh, Fitbit data CSV file. All right. So this I have imported inside my Jupyter notebook. Now the third thing which need to do is that import below modules. So these two modules you need to import it. So one is my SQL DB that is my SQL client, and the second thing is CSV git. So CSV git as we know that because of this only I am able to execute this statement. And SQL so that SQL needed to be need to import into the SQL. All right. So this is by default statement through the CSV git that okay use csv sql database in which connect my sql database that this is uh, uh, connecting stream you can see that uh, this is my sql so if you are using sql right you can write it sql right here this is root is username this is the password this this is uh, like uh, the local host so here my local host is this 127.0.0.1 and this is the port number by default and this is the database the database which you have created the same database name you have to write it over here and this one is by default statement insert and after that you have to space then you have to write your uh, csv file name that is fitbit data csv so by using this statement we can able to load inside mysql database hey, here you can see that no tables are there right so we can see that if i run this one so here all the data set which ever it is present inside my uh, this csv file load into my sql so error okay so this is the warning we can ignore it no issue so here i can see that if i refresh it okay search now refresh 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 yeah huh. so you can see that i am able to successfully load my whole data inside my sql right so this is superb now so let's see okay what is the table name fit bit data is not selected Yeah, you can see that the same data which was which is present inside the Excel it is imported here, right? So now simply we can use it. So 
so this is simple trick that using one simple comment uh, statement line you can successfully import all our csv data inside sql so if you like this video if you like this uh, statement whatever i have presented please like my video thank you